Okay, we made it, guys. Ventura, California, on a beautiful, overcast beach morning here, Friday, day one of the greatest spectacle in cornhole history. The 2023 Spencer McKenzie's Throwdown. It's out of control. They got the whole fairgrounds locked out. We have vintage cars. We have a Ferris wheel. We have my mobile bar. We have 200 sets of board. We got the cocktails ready to rock and roll. And most importantly, we have $300,000 on the lines, up for grabs. Who's taking it home? I can't wait to see. Let's get into this event. This is what's going on right now. We got the Hawaii homies out deep. Look at this. Look at this, guys. That's putting in work right there. That's OT. You don't learn that. That's something you're born with, that kind of skill set. Those hips right there, that's pure thunder, kid. <laughs> when you're talking Hawaii Kono, you're going to go to one man. You're going to go to my guy right here, Kiola. How many times have you been to this event? This is my third year. Third year. And this is mostly everyone's first year. Oh, man. This is so, I'm so yeah. excited for you guys to shine. Thank hey, I know you got hey, us, hey, I'm glad to be here. Well, thank you. Obviously, we got Maui Strong here yes. all day. Maui Strong, we got Love and Prayers. Hey, Love and Prayers stocks out there. Maui Strong, we know they're going to come back and kill it, you can't, hey listen, you can, uh, some things can happen to property, but you can't take the heart of the people oh. away. And they're gonna rebuild quick, man. I'll tell you what, it's gonna look beautiful, just like you guys being here. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Bless, brother. Let's go. You guys have a blessing. Yes, sir. This whole operation could not have been done. We're here with one of the right-hand men. My guy, we got John running the operation. We got David running the operation. David, you finally made it. Yep. Hey, what, eight, nine months of preparation? Oh, dude, this thing has been going on. Since last year ended, our mind was spinning. What could we do to make this thing bigger, better, and just the overall experience? And so we've been on the on the go. You on the go, David Garcia here, also known as Dodos Kid. Listen, don't let him. Don't let this kid is smart. Don't let that nickname fool you. You, I, I couldn't even organize two of the banners. He's got nine thousand here. Hey, listen, we're excited. It's 2023, the greatest spectacle in cornhole. It's finally here, everybody's been talking about it. This is like the Pro Bowl, but you don't have to qualify. You could just be here, Pro Bowl vibes. Just like all the Hawaii homies right here. David, the news is here. Yep. My mother showed up, she's hooking up with some dude, don't even have a 10.0 PPR. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Ready to rock and roll for the weekend. Hey, not only do we have the greatest coral event going on in history today, and this whole weekend, but we also have an incredible vintage car show popping off. Look at this. Oh, I left the keys on my bar. They let me park in here. This is my car, guys. I'm not lying. I put that on my good eye. I'm going to get the keys. Of course, the, you're going to have the VIP of the VIP here early. Look at this. We got the Caballero boys, future world champions, and the actual world champion, Jamie Graham, my Hello. guy. What up, homie? How you doing? Look at it. Nothing says I'm ready for the beach than getting them Crocs with the socks. This is what happens when you get North Carolina on the West Coast. Fresh off the 2023 world championship. If documented right now, I'm going to say the greatest run through a bracket in the history of this sport right here just pure focus how'd you guys like his world championship run I like it. was that pretty sweet yeah the air mail shot the air mail right with the window to win against gavin that was so awesome how many bags you guys got at the house like 300 300 sets this is the real deal right here guys this is a lifestyle jamie what's going on how you feeling coming off coming off worlds so oh, good man uh this term is a little bit different though. It's outside. Little wind and, coming in. Yeah. How's your wind game? Um, so usually at Spencer's they have an easy side and a hard side. I'm playing with Eric Davis, so uh, I'll be playing on the easy side. Oh, you and, you and ED? Yeah. Listen, we're gonna go over here catch up, John. We're gonna be seeing you guys soon. All Little right. homies, get warmed up. Here's the man, the myth, the legend, the architect of this whole operation. From the first fish taco to the last bag. John, what's, what's going on here? What is this? Yeah, this is uh, the world's largest cornhole boards over here. Scale, it's basically three times, right, Dave? Dave, the 3D builders built by, those. Great work, Six guys. by 12. Six, six by 12. By 12 okay. To scale. Ah. We are going to there get we go. this down. Here we go. Let's and try we, got, it. we got actual footage here. This is going to be live. Where's our bag? Here we go. Right behind you. Get him with the bag. If anybody's going to do this, it's going to be John. He's a workhorse and he makes sure that once he starts something, it has to happen. Hey, this is my stage. When he's on the stage, he kills it. When I'm on the stage, I kill people with that. <laughs> 215, we need military backup at the Green Room Oval Bar. Send in anybody right now with a tank. Over. Oh, shit. Send in a kick. Dayton oh. Weber, 40 million views this week. Right here, this yes, is my sir. guy, Dayton Weber. Tell him what the tour's name is. Man, it's the World Won't Wait Tour. We traveled from Maryland all the way to Ventura, hitting up different spots to do some motivational speaking, 
and uh, hit up some blind draws and just inspire people the way I know how, just by doing my everyday thing. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> let these hoes know you're dating Weber. <laughs> hey, honestly though, the road to Spencer McKenzie's, you just accomplished it. You knocked out some speaking, you knocked out some blind draws, you won money along the way. Oh, yeah. John has you here, ready to rock and roll. You got your tank out. Hey, if you got your lady at Spencer's, you better keep your eye on her. She might just roll off with the homie right here. You gotta spread them, kids. See you guys later, we're gonna hit the Iraq. I see you out here hanging out. We got the line starting to form. Yes. How good does it feel, this accomplishment? Oh, awesome, dude. Biggest one yet. Oh, yes, it is, dude. Awesome. Biggest one yet. 5,000 people, 5,000 vendors, a Ferris wheel, my mobile bar, your butt cheeks. This kid's <laughs> double cheeked up on a, on a Friday, bro. Look at them cheeks, kid. <laughs> Let's go, Special McKenzie's Ventura, California, all weekend to throw down. Go it. All right, doors are about to open to the biggest spectacle in cornhole history. We got the soldiers here. Look at these men in the front row. Let's go talk to these dudes. Come on in. So you guys are out, here, out here in the front, man. What's happening? You guys pumped up for this tournament? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes, sir. Yeah, can't, hey, it's, can't it's get a enough. great vacation, right? When, right so who's got the highest the PPR here? here we go. Uh, Come on, you motherfuckers go. You guys go. Oh, they say her back there. They're ready for cash games. Right Where are you guys from? Kentucky. Kentucky cash game versus New Jersey. It's gonna pop off. Let's go. Let's go. My girl's back there and I'll put it on. She's only 15 oh! years old. Cash I'll put it on it. He's, would you have cash game courts in there? Cash games are popping off. That's how Cornell runs. It's really regional thing. Everybody does come together, but then there's a pride, there's a there's a pride and a, and a thing when you're region. You know, like like any other sports team. You know, it's, if it's Kansas City versus the Raiders type shit. In Cornell, though, the cash games are gonna go hard. People play in tournaments, but don't forget about these cash games. And that's what's happening here. This kid don't want no smoke. What's up, little homie? Look, you see that? That's the level of competition. They want to go cash games in line, bro. It's fun. It's fun. You guys have it's a good time. It's gonna be even more fun when I beat you 21-0. Dude, this kid, he just because he goes to nationals and he gets on TV, he thinks he can smoke me. Listen, I, I don't. I'm not a pro because I like the media side better. I choose not to be a pro. This is the future. These are the breadwinners. They're in line. This, I'm telling you, the vibe is live. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's go, guys. See you inside. All right, listen. It's my first time here, but I'm here with the OG vet of the Throwdown. He's also my co-spot, my co, my co-correspondent here, man on the street, Rob Chismark. Glad to have you here, buddy. Glad to be working with you on this. Tell me what I need to be expecting. What's happening here? What What is my virgin? Uh, eye and nose and ears got to look forward to. Well, I, I know you've been here. You've been here all. You were here all day yesterday. We were here together. We were looking at everything. Look at this setup. I mean, this is actually a brand new setup for the Throwdown. We brought it over here into the fairgrounds. It's brand new. It's compact. It's beautiful, right? It's everything we've ever seen in the world's largest cornhole festival. We have out here, I think, over a thousand teams this this week. Wow, over a thousand teams this weekend coming out here. To throw down for over three hundred thousand dollars in prizes. Ninety-nine point nine percent of the time, it's in indoor controlled conditions. It <laughs> reminds me of the uh, of, of the white man can't jump clip, where he's where Wesley Snipes is talking about playing ball outside. He's like, you never know. The wind out here might go a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. You just don't know with the wind. I'm pumped up, Rob. We're gonna have it's ourselves gonna be amazing, a weekend. Bro. I cannot wait. My man in the street, co-correspondent Rob Chismark, big greatest cornhole festival on the planet this weekend, the Throwdown. Man on the streets, Rob Chismark, and I have the pleasure to be joined by the commish, Stacy Moore. Stacy, you're out here, this is your second year affiliated with the Throwdown. Tell me about it. Man, this is awesome, man. I, I, since I came out last year, I was like, couldn't wait to come back. Yeah. And John, he, he's made it bigger and better, too. I was like, last year was awesome. I love the setup here this year, the flow. All the vendors that are set up out here and our broadcast court being indoors, I'm pumped for it. Tell me the similarities between, we just had, you just had the World Championship over in Rock Hill. Yeah. Tell me some of the similarities and maybe some of the differences. Obviously, indoors versus outdoors is just a big difference and I think that anytime you go outdoors, that just naturally changes the vibe and probably makes it a little bit more fun and less stressful. <laughs> I mean, when you go inside that World Championship, no matter what division you're playing in, you're there for more competition than you are for fun. Right. And I think when you come out here, it's more about fun than the competition until it gets down towards the end and the, and get playing for that top money. People get really serious quick here on and Sunday. And that is—it's a, a lot of money too. Yeah, there's a lot no of money doubt about it. In, in all of the divisions, there are there's a lot of money available. 
And, and, I, and obviously the live music, yeah. just adds to the vibe, and just having live music is just a great festival. And these vendors, I mean, it, it does feel like you're at a street fair, without a doubt. And the food, the food is going to be unbelievable. You yep. can smell it cooking now. It's going to be an unbelievable time. Yep. Thanks, thank you so much for your time. Thank I you, appreciate man. you. This is what Cornell's all about. Wait. All right, here we are. They've implemented a Ferris wheel. We've got the beach. We've got campsites. Yes, sir. We've got, yes, we've got cornhole champions. Yes, sir. And we've got the festival. Everybody just came in. We just opened up. People are still coming in. As you can see, we have 160 sets of boards out there. The car show, the ACL ESPN broadcast, all of our vendors down here. It's just a week at a cornhole camaraderie. We're having a great time. We're on the Ferris wheel. We're drinking white claw. We're living it up. We'll be back. Let's go see what the world champ's sipping on. What are you sipping on out the gate? What does the world champ sip on to get in the zone? I'm drinking the K-Man Jack. Oh, there it is. That's it. Listen, if you want to up your PPR, just do what he does. Some people have an uncanny ability to just get, just drink beers and hit air mails like this kid. 30 in a row, this kid. Oh. air mail on command, this kid. Oh! Woo! That was close. Hey, there's a world champion right here. Just one. At least I, I scored two on hey, this motherfucker though. I, I, give I out scored L's. two. I give out L's to people. How many uh how many throwdowns is this for you? I think this is uh seven, number seven. seven. Tell me how different the throwdown is from the ACL. Um a lot more teams. It's uh, I think what a thousand teams this year. Yeah. Outside is a big difference. Uh, pros usually play in the indoors, so playing out here in the wind is challenging. You have to be mentally ready and focused and Whenever you mess up out here in the wind, the wind kills your bag. You gotta be able to uh, let that go and just uh, keep going through the game. But um, that's the big difference right here, inside, outside. Heterosexual stuff happening here, guys. It, it was. The throwdown. That was, as, that was as heterosexual as it could be. Right that's there. what we do, Bernie Neighbors. How, how, listen, you're a, you're a warrior with the American Cornwall League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does this tournament do for you? How does it make you feel? Is there a reset situation feeling on you? you know Is it what? a vacation? How's it It's kind of in between, to be honest with you. I like being out here. It's fun. I mean, can you beat this? No. And, I mean, let's be honest. I don't really do a whole lot anyway. And so These bags are... Lie. Say that like 20 times, that's really all I do, so this is a good time. Southern California. Do not listen to him, he does a lot. No, no, nothing. Except, except he's wearing a beanie. He is wearing a beanie, dude. I gotta, I gotta keep I gotta keep the dome. Yeah, but it's listen, hard. it's hard. I know you don't have hair on top, but you have nice hair on the side. If you go get a nice fade, bro, we do we start off, we taper that up. <laughs> You're looking, we shaving five years off. <laughs> you got nice eyes. You're smarter than I'll ever be when no. you were nine. <laughs> but here's what's gonna happen. We have the pro intentional unfolding. Bernie Neighbors has to get back in there. Thank you for stopping in and taking some time, buddy. We're down here, Vendor Alley. These are the folks with the heart of what this is. They supply bags, they're supplying the hats, the shirts. If you look around, everybody's wearing a jersey, everybody's wearing a hat, everybody's, they're supporting who they love in Cornwall. That's what Vendor Alley's all about. All right, listen, you guys might recognize my man Easy from Dayton Weber's 40 million view video. You still hit some shots. You took an L, but you the most charisma. Just that round, I mean that round. You won the oh, game. No, one round I For the fact, let's, let's, let's share the let's fact. Right. Dayton got, got the views on the round, the 40 mil. Right. But you still won the game because you're an absolute OG savage. How's, how's the throwdown? What's it mean to you? Talk to us about all this. Throwdown's wonderful. Uh, so what it does is, as, as a good cornhole player or an amateur cornhole player, what it does, it brings everybody in. Because we all have to play into the weather, or uh, the wind, or uh, the sun can be hot, or, you know. So we all are trying to just put everything in the home. And it's hard to do when you got 45, 50 mile an hour wind. So, so I don't know if the winds are 50 miles an hour, but, but they been, could be eight. We had crosswinds. Oh, Goddamn I mean, crosswind. And it was a crosswinds with some circles. <laughs> <laughs> all joking aside, all the fun, all this or that, we got real action going on right now. Women's doubles here. We have Gina Ramirez out of Arizona, my, one of my cornhole coaches, teaming up with the greatest woman to ever play the sport, Cheyenne Bubenheim. They're about to go heads up right now. Again, don't forget, all the cocktails, all the fun, all the camaraderie 
There's still a lot of corn to be played for a lot of money. And that's what's popping off here in the Oakwood Cornhole live feed. Here we go. Okay, fresh off world, my man, professional cornhole player, ACL cornhole legend, Brady. What's going on? Brady? What's up? How are you? Tell me how old you are. I'm 11 years old. The kid's 11, bro. He, 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 I, you know what? I'm so impressive because when I was your age, I was banging my head on lunch boxes to impress dummy. And now that does affect me. I have problems with my brain these days. But you're a savage. We're ready to watch you work, okay? All you right, keep working. Thank you. Thank you. Let's, we got campsites rocking. We got a concert over here, right field rocking. Green Room Mobile Bar looking nice. All the boards popping off. Day one, the throwdown, Spencer McKenzie's did not disappoint. Unbelievable weather. The Ferris wheel was out of control. Caleb Batson, Kimberly Glass take down the Invitational. 10,000 cornhole games played. The entire city on just electric mode. Out here throwing bags, living a great life, having a cocktail, enjoying their, their weekend. And it's just day one. Let's get back to it. The throwdown, Spencer McKenzie's 2023. Tomorrow, day two. Let's get after it.